welcome back to Media Realming. Today we have the Megan, Heather, and Heidi's with us. Heidi is a voice actress, and we'll put all of her stuff down in the description. Um, today we are going to talk about acting and writing and their relationship and what happens when one of them sings. As an actress, have you ever had to do something where the writing pained you? Yeah. It is frustrating because as an actor, you feel almost at the mercy of the writers and directors. And not completely because you're bringing, you know, your own creative sense to things too. But it is frustrating when, even if it's not the entire writing, but even if it's like a little chunk that just makes you feel like you're having to play a caricature. Or like if you're playing a caricature and you know that already, then that's fine, but if you're actually trying to play a human being uh, normally, then you don't want to suddenly break into this unreal world that you know nobody can relate with. How do you conjure up an emotion that you don't feel? Doesn't exist. Relating as much as you can to the character that you have and then doing what you can to bring, in, to bring as much life to it as possible because like, as bad as the writing may be, the actor can save it to a certain extent if they believe what they're doing. It, it feels cheesy and they know it's cheesy and they act it cheesy, then everybody feels awkward. <laughs> True or false? Good acting can overcome bad writing. I would say it depends on how bad the writing is and how good the acting is. I've brought examples. Ta da! It's called Saved by Grace. <laughs> And the, the writing is not superb, but the main actor is very good. I would definitely watch a movie with him in it again, but I wouldn't watch that movie again because writing was bad and one actor can't save the entire movie. So, depends on the level. you have anything to say, Kelly? No. Huh? <laughs> I, I pretty much agree with everybody else. <laughs> so the end statement is, is that good acting can overcome... <laughs> Bad writing <laughs> to an extent. Yes. The most mainstream example I can think of is Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks? Let's well, I throw all writing because I'm not sure we're going to that. The actor did his job well. He did what he was supposed to do. He did Jar Jar Binks and he did it well. The problem was Jar Jar Binks was a lousy character that nobody liked. Music called Jar Jar Binks. It wasn't the actor's fault. He couldn't save that kind of writing. A little bit of ad living I don't think would have fixed anything. I think he would have had to have basically gone through it, scribbled <laughs> everything out, and started from scratch. That's, that's what... And you can't do that. Do you have any tips for other voice actors in case they get a bad script? Like, how do you handle that? Do you go through the stages of grief? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you mourn and then you deny that you ever did it and then <laughs> one of the biggest things that I've been finding not just in voice acting but in this industry in general is that um, you can't compromise your standards because that affects you, it affects the people who hire you um, or who will consider hiring you and it affects your audience too. Um, and it's hard. It's a hard because when you're starting off, a lot of projects that come along ask you to compromise one word or one scene or one whatever. And it's, it's not easy to turn down a whole project just because part of it is not something that you agree with. Um, but I think it's really important um, that, you, that you start with a consistent message and you stay consistent with it. They'll learn to trust you and then they'll know, okay, if I want something good, I can come back to this person. We have to be choosy, but at the same time, not overly so. Um, just, you know, getting started and, and not undervalue connections with people. Because, like, word of mouth is the, I'd say, still the most powerful marketing tool out there. If you had to have excellent writers or excellent actors, which one would you pick? I would pick excellent actors. Did you hear the question, Heidi? No. <laughs> this is, like, this, 
in the past one over three minutes, I basically just heard Megan say the other example, and then I heard, and, and then I saw Kelly go. <laughs> <laughs> Mom show. If you had to have excellent writing or excellent acting, which one would you pick? I think I would have excellent acting because the actors are the ones you see, and the like the last ones to interpret it and bring it to life on the screen. So even if it's bad writing, like you can often tell who's a good actor. I think excellent acting can sort of save bad writing, but I don't really think it works the other way around. And if you see a, like a bad actor doing a really good scratch, you're just like, he's killing the story! <laughs> when you write, you're done. You know, you give it to them and what they do with it is what they do with it. And unfortunately, your name is the one that's going to be in the credits, even when you feel like, this isn't what I did. But nobody knows. I've had that experience once, actually. It's kind of unfair for the writers, you know? They get no credit they, either. Yeah, they don't get any credit, because if you write an awesome movie, and then all of the people who get the credit are the directors and the, actor. and the actors. Wouldn't it be nice if the writers could get some credit? Because they kind of came up with the idea, and they kind of wrote those lines. I like to feel agree on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we at all disagreeing on anything at all? Can good writing overcome bad acting? My example movie for that one is called Ace of Hearts. The writing was really strong. Most of the actors were really good. But then you had the one main girl who just felt like she was acting. She took her script and it was a good script, but she just didn't bring it to life in a real way. I could still tell it was good writing, but in some ways I could tell that because the rest of the cast around her was strong. I'm sorry, I completely <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was listening! So was I! I was listening! <laughs> I was paying attention! I, he said it, it, it felt like it was acting, and then my mind just went. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, I've seen that! <laughs> Twilight Sparkle, she does that! <laughs> okay, alright, alright, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. okay. Well, you must, you, you yeah, must respond you, to that. Oh, I have to respond to that? I was. <laughs> yeah, I think if it was a movie just filled with bad actors, I don't know, I think it'd be hard to like know if it was good writing or not, honestly. When I watch a movie and like it's bad acting, I can't get over it. Yeah. I just can't get over it. <laughs> we established that good writing cannot yeah. overcome bad acting. Uh, to me that's like the worst thing that can happen. Like watching a movie when there's a bad acting and there's bad writing, Oh, it's just like, Terrible. your life is like, like, it's like <laughs> torture, it's like- Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst of me! I can't, I just, I can't live through this. <laughs> what would you do as a director if you had a bad actor or a bad script? It, de it depends, I think, basically how much control I have over the project, as far as the writing is concerned, depending on the extremes. You know, if I thought there were little changes, maybe we can just sit here, I might be trying to... Because I think directors do do that sometimes, too. They change the script if, if I had that kind of, you know, freedom. And if I didn't and I thought it was really bad, frankly, I might walk rather than have that on my record. As far as working with uh, a bad actor, again, it depends on how much control I have over the project. You work with people, you get what you can, and if you can't get what you want, then it's all about damage control. I might reduce the role of the character if I feel like it's really bad, if I feel like I just can't, you know, get through. There was a project I turned down just because I read through it and the words were fine. I could have I could have done the project, but it just felt purposeless. You know, like there wasn't a solid theme, the characters didn't really grow. It wasn't really a product I'd want to hand to a friend and say, here, this is what I do every day, <laughs> you know? Honestly, you're building your audience, too, even from the perspective of the people who will come to see you again or buy your next movie or, you know, whatever it may be. Like, will they trust you <laughs> to turn out something good? Or will they come back, you know? It's so easy in this field to feel like, you know, I'm going to wait for the perfect project to come along or I'm going to be the perfect 
actor, director, whatever, you know, we just have to start, you know, but starting with the willingness to get better. We have to be willing to let people criticize our work and say, that really stinks, you know, like, make that better. <laughs> I I think uh, part of the, the power of it is the team. It's just, it's just a matter of pulling together people who are good at what they do and people that you can trust and listen to, you know, so the director's open to what the actors have and the actors are willing to uh, listen to the director and, you know, anybody else who can contribute in that, in that case. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, kneel, I'll kneel at the first talk. Okay. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Um, again, we had with us Megan, Kelly, and Heidi. Heidi has... Uh, I, 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 I. <laughs> All right, here you go. <laughs> I did not nail the first talk. Thank you for joining us today, everybody. Let us know what you think of it. Um, we all are open for projects. Um, <laughs> hire me! Is, um, <laughs> voice actress. <laughs> she, be sure to check out her um, YouTube channel and Facebook page. It's called Joyful Voice. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Is that good? Get it? I think we got it. I think we got it.